friends welcome to my channel today is the third day for our f5 ltm training today we are going to build a lab for f5 and also we'll see how we can activate those licenses okay so in this video we are going to understand what is evng and what is networking like the vm uh, where the evng runs on what is the networking how we can activate the internet in f5 we'll see those things and also we'll see what how to import the images how can we find the images how we can uh, activate the license and how we can build the lab so this is very much important for building a lab and doing practicals so i'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand these things and you can do your own uh, you can build your own lab and you can do practice and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started so friends uh, first of all we'll understand what is evng so evng is nothing but a network emulator so with the help of network emulator we can emulate the same network what we have in real time environment let's say if if we want to do some testing or let's say if i want to test some of the application with the help of evng you can do that and if you want to learn about the technology with the help of evng you can emulate the same kind of environment and you can learn it okay and if you want to understand that what are what are the devices or what are the images evng supports you can go to the website in the documentation and then you can see so you will see cisco juniper cyber rom jun then alcatel a10 apple checkpoint palo alto fortigate f5 it supports most of the devices whatever you see in the real world environment now uh, as we know that evng is a emulator now we need to understand how the networking wo works with our pc so friends if you want to understand how this evng is connected to our pc we need to understand how the installation works for evng which i have covered it in my previous video i will be sharing that link into the description as well as you can click on the i button as well okay so first of all what we do is uh, we'll go to the our vm okay so once you open vm you will see here something known as network adapter right here it is nat you will be able to see this is nat okay so now what exactly this means is let me explain you like this okay so this is your evng right and this evng is working or running on the vm okay this is vmware and inside that the evng is working so now evng has a networking or it is attached to this vm okay now we have something called as nat right and on the top of that our pc is running on this one okay so this pc so whatever traffic that you are generating in this evng it is going to this nat device or nat interface and this interface connects to our physical interface of pc so basically let me rub this out and explain you from the beginning okay so this is the this is the pc and let's say this is our Wi-Fi uh, card okay here now whatever traffic that you are generating it is going to the NAT device of VM okay here it is getting NATed and after that traffic is going here onto the physical interface and then it is going to our Wi-Fi router which is connected to internet right so this is how the communication that is happening so in evng there are certain network type that we need to choose so that the traffic should route to nat interface and then it goes to physical interface of the pc and then it goes to internet i'll show you how it 
works okay so friends now we'll see how we can import the fi image to evng okay so you have to follow the installation process like installation steps once you're done with those things then you have to come to this import one okay and i'll highly recommend you to please watch that video please before doing this one okay so you can go to our vm machine first and then you have to open winscp okay so you have to uh, do open winscp and you have to put the ip address for oh, what is the ip address 192.168.202.129 so 192.168.202 and 129 okay and the username would be r root okay r o o t root and the password would be e v e okay this is the default username password and then you can enroll enroll this this one and then you go to first you have to go to opt then unit lab then add-ons and then qmo okay now here you can just drag and drop okay so this is the file that i'm going to upload this is the file this is the x uh, like our archive file so once you open this one you will see this folder okay and this is the folder once you extract it so just copy this folder drag and here drop it so uh, i'll stop the video for a while once this is uh, once that copy is completed we'll start the video okay and then i'll show you how we can find the images of f5 in even ggy okay so friends as you can see i have uh, imported two images over here right now if you want i can share both the images uh, please comment down below so that i can understand that you are interested so we can go to our evng gui and we'll log in with admin and eve password okay so once we are logged in uh, we'll go to notes and we will select f5 so where is f5 we have got f5 and save it okay and then we will connect one of the network so that we will be able to access it from our network like from my pc okay so we'll connect with the management interface and save it and we'll start it okay so the start of this big ip will take some time like not uh, not as uh, uh, paul alto firewall but it takes time maybe uh, you can uh, take as one plus minute something like that so yeah we'll just uh, stop the video for uh, that moment and then we'll start it again so friends as you can see that uh, the booting process has been completed now let me log into the f5 and uh, the login password will be uh, the user would be root and the password will be default right now you can see the license there is no license modeled so we'll see how we can configure the license how we can do the license so we'll just type config first and do the ip address configuration for management interface right so as we have currently uh, the ip address is 192 168 200 to 130 so we'll do a checking whether we are able to reach to this one so 192 168 202 130 we are able to reach now and now we'll try to log in here 192 168 202 130 okay and it should be https now so friends now we have got the login screen now we have to specify the username password and here it is admin and admin as we have not changed any password so admin admin and it says that the license is not operational so we have to activate the license to activate the license we have to search f5 license right so trial license we need to activate so we have to go here okay and uh, we have what we need to do we have to get the license for our ltm right so that is a virtual edition right now you have to register yourself first okay 
once you register yourself you will have to like you have to fill in some uh, details once you fill in the details um, it actually sends the request to get the 30 day license okay either i will just try to log in we'll see whether my login is working for this one because i have already requested it for it so i have got the license so let's see whether we are getting for this one okay so yeah uh, this is for let's say other purpose evaluate license currently for lb okay i will just specify anything and i need it for big ip how many licenses i just need one license so once you request for three license you have to like the three license will start from that day one itself so let's say if you request license for today today is second and uh, the thing is like uh, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow you will get the license from that day means from fourth uh, uh, three license all the three license will be activated same day so like from fourth to till third of may that's all so i recommend you to uh, uh, request for license one if you want two devices you can request for two okay and then you uh, just put the uh, this letters and request for license key so they will go do the verifications and all and once the verification done and then you will be able to get the license now i'll show you how to activate the license and once you request for the license you will get this kind of key so i have requested for three licenses so i have got three keys okay and uh, with the help of these key you will be able to activate your f5 that is for 30 days okay and uh, the, and these keys expire from the from today if not activated okay so this will be expired so i have taken one of the license key with me so i will just copy that license key and uh, i'll go to the gui and i will click on activate first and put the key over there and click on next so you need to specify the outbound interface so uh, right now uh, the management interface is connected to internet so this is like i was explaining in the vm networking that i am connected to nat interface and the nat interface is connected to our physical interface so the management interface i'm just specifying if you have another interface you can specify that one and then click next so it will retrieve uh, receiving the configuration from the data uh, and then you have to accept this one the license agreement okay so now it will try to get the uh, get the license from the f5 so it is just receiving the configuration now so as you can see from here like we are going to activate today and uh, it will be expiring on 3rd of may okay now maybe it will take some time to verify the configuration whatever it is and you you will be able to see uh, what are the trial license supports so it supports uh, i guess it supports all the functionality whatever we require for ltm so it will be helpful for us to build those configuration i guess and do our labs so the now uh, the configuration or i can say uh, the license is activated now now you'll see all the options that are available right now so all local traffic and all those things so now if you want to see the license it, uh, in 30 days you can do all your labs whatever labs you have you can do it like and now you will be able to connect let's say i want to connect windows server with this one okay and i will just connect with the maybe i'll take switch over here save it and i will just connect it to ease 1.1 and to the windows server 
and then I can do our so from the next uh, video we'll start uh, we will start the practical uh, labs so this is very much important this video is very much important and I will request you to please watch every steps because if you miss any steps you will not be able to boot your uh, big IP and then uh, you'll have a lot of problems then you'll not be able to do your practical as well so uh, the the concentration should be on building the lab first and then you doing the practical later okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video uh, if you liked it please uh, give it a like and if you have any suggestion uh, for my videos please put it on the comment or you can send me an email or facebook message instagram message whatever you want Thank you so much for watching and I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me.